Welcome to At The Hill Podcast. I'm your host, Danielle McPherson. And I'm your host, Lily Carr. Our episodes are brought to you by Rose Hill Library, and today's guest is Mr. Welch. Before we have Mr. Welch join us, make sure you follow Rocket Productions on Instagram and Facebook. If you miss any episodes, you can find the Rocket Productions Network anywhere you listen to podcasts. Okay, so we're going to start off with asking Mr. Welch how he's doing today. Well, it's been a good day so far. That is great. Were you excited for the weekend? I was definitely looking forward to the weekend. It's always nice to get some time away. Yeah, absolutely. Did you guys do anything fun? Oh, uh, me and my kids, we just went up to my, my parents have a little farm, so we just went up and played around on the farm and fished a little bit. Well, that sounds like a great weekend. Um, how is school going so far like from a job perspective? I think the school year's gotten off to a good start for the most part. I think um, you know, being here at Rose Hill, we have very few issues um, in discipline. Most kids enjoy coming to school. Um, everybody's hit the ground running, you know, for example, this, this class, Mr. Brown's class is up and running, Stuco's up and running, our fall sports are kicking off, kicked off Friday, and uh, volleyball, soccer, and some other things going off today, so, um, you know, everything's, everything's up and rolling. Yep. What has your day-to-day life been looking like? Uh, day-to-day, um, here at school, just kind of depends on the day, you know, that's one thing, um, different with our, the new position being the vice principal is, Rather than having a set schedule every day, you kind of just show up and see what happens. Um, you never really know, but your basic things, you're dealing with attendance and discipline a lot of times as vice principals so every day. Uh, we get our attendance report and make sure our kids that were unexcused or get that fixed and tardies. And um, so the first step every day is making sure dealing with the attendance issues. And then from there, just kind of the discipline piece just kind of depends on the day. So kind of, you already kind of mentioned it, but how has it been adjusting from counselor to vice principal? Well, the counselor's like the good cops, and the principal sometimes like bad cops. And yeah. So sometimes as the vice principal, you kind of feel like the, the school police officer at times where, hey, take your hat off, get to class on time, uh, you know, quit skipping class. And so sometimes as the vice principal, and like the discipline piece and the attendance piece, you, you feel like you're always negative, so it's hard to build those positive relationships with kids. Whereas the counseling office, a lot of times, is a lot of good stuff. Now, there's some bad stuff that goes on down there. Kids have uh, some traumatic things they're dealing with in their personal lives. But a lot of times in the counseling office, you know, it's like, hey, let's, let's bring kids down. Let's work on your scholarships. Let's talk about where you're going to school. Let's have some of those conversations. Um, a lot of positive stories going on down there. And sometimes in the vice principal's office, it's just not quite so positive all the time. Yeah. Do you feel like you've been able to adjust, like, personally, like where you're coming from when you're talking to students, being in a different role? Yes and no. I, I think I've been able to adjust and just understand um, your responsibilities in the district or, or in the school are different. But at the same time, and how you deal with kids and how you treat people, I mean, it's just kind of your personality and who you are. So I don't think, you know, I haven't changed as a person and how I, how I think people should be treated at school, whether it's parents, staff members, students. Um, but I do think with the job comes different responsibilities. Yeah. Is there anything you're going to miss about being a counselor? Yeah, I think um, the, the main part is that post-secondary planning. You know, when you talk to kids about where they want to go after high school, where they see themselves in five years, 10 years, 20 years, and some of those conversations about kid, with kids I really enjoyed. Um, and it's always a fun time in their life when kid, you know, kids grow up in Rose Hill and they're like, oh, this place is terrible. And it's like you always remind them it's not that bad. But two, you know, kids are excited to think about what their next step is. And so it's fun. Um, you know, me and Mrs. Martin, we'd go on – trips and we'd visit you know k-state or emporia state or pitt state ku wherever and to go on those trips and visits and see the opportunities that are available to our students and then being able to come back and relay that information to students um you know those are like said earlier a lot of positive conversations um and it's exciting you know you sit back you look at they're like wow i didn't know these programs existed but if i was a kid maybe i would have looked at something like that or when my kids get, get older you know it's just you're exposed to so much and that way you're able to help kids make the the best decision for them for their post-secondary planning. Yeah. And now on to commercial. The Rose Hill Library started out as a community library at the school. Their hours are 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday, and they are closed on Fridays and Sundays. They have nearly 10,000 items to check out, and all you need is a library card. They also have story time on Mondays at 10 a.m., and during the summer they host summer reading programs. The library can also fax and scan documents to a flash drive and make copies for you. You can contact them at 316-776-3013. Auto body connections have been in Rose Hill since 1989. Any mechanical or electrical problems, 
you have bring it on down to auto body connections and see the team at 325 North Pawson Street in Rose Hill and the phone number on that is 316-776-0222. Red Lion Auto has been repairing vehicles for 20 years. They are located at 112 North Rose Hill Road. They work on all makes and models and have the newest technology to service your vehicle. They are open five days a week from 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. You can call them today at 316-776-9069. We're back with Mr. Welch at The Hill Podcast. So, Mr. Welch, we're going to talk about the changes that you have that you've made this year and then the stuff that you're going to do next year. So like specifically, what have you and Jackson changed about this year? Um, there hasn't been wholesale changes. Like I said, Mr. Jackson was here for, for 10, 11 years as assistant principal and had a great relationship with Mr. Haydock. And so I don't think he's made major changes kind of, there'll be some things in the classroom. Hopefully students will notice throughout the year, but there's subtle changes that Mr. Jackson's kind of pushing on some of our staff members to encourage you know, we want to raise our ACT score and state assessment scores and test scores and uh, kind of bring some of that rigor back in the classroom. Um, but overall, as a student, I don't think you'll notice too many changes. A lot of our policies and, um, you know, discipline things are the same as last year. The big change for students would be there's no more T5s. You know, if you're five minutes late to a class, it was an hour of detention. And this year, your tardies are anywhere from anywhere from the beginning of class up through 15 minutes and anything after 15 minutes is just an unexcused absence and so there's no t5s anymore is the main issue with students the other um, implication or change in school policy this year was the change in some of our tobacco discipline if students brought something to campus that they um, shouldn't have um, so this year tobacco used to be just three uh, detentions but this year tobacco is three days suspension okay yeah I was going to ask about the pizza. <laughs> Just, there I've has been a, a change in the pizza. I was going to say, a lot of um, kids have been talking about so that. So I'm not sure, if is it a positive change or not a positive change? Oh, I've heard both. I don't know. Well, the pizza that we used to order, was it whole wheat, like the crust, or was it just like normal pizza? Like, I so. could not tell you that. Um, I, I don't know about that, but I'll, the pizza deal is through our food service, so me or Mr. Jackson did not choose either one. Um, but... Our food service director, obviously, when you're ordering hundreds of pizzas, whatever it is throughout the year, so they, they bid that out on a contract. And so this mm -hmm. year, our food service director decided to try a new one. I believe it's Domino's. Yeah. And um, some kids have been positive and some not so much. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I've heard mixed reviews. Some people are like, <laughs> it's pizza's pizza, and some kids are like, we want pizza back. Yep. But yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes <laughs> next year then. Are there any changes you're wanting to make at semester or before the end of the school year? Uh, no major changes that semester or before the end of the school year. I think, um, you know, our, our big change mainly is just consistency. And I think students and staff members and people want to, they want to know what they're getting into every day when they, when they come in the building. And so I think with, with myself being new and just a little more energetic, you know, when Mr. Haydock, Mr. Jackson been here for a long time, you know, they kind of get not in a rut, they just kind of get in the, this is how we do things every day. And sometimes things slip or slide by the wayside um, but so this year just being new just trying to be on it a little more be visible be in the hallways and always be consistent yeah it makes sense so I know we talked to you last year because I think we either interviewed you or did a story on you about you being a counselor moving up but are you wanting to become principal or stay in the same position for a while definitely I'd like to be principal someday but it's no rush like I love Rose Hill and mm -hmm. so the idea would be if I'm a principal I'd be fortunate hopefully to be here someday but I'm not itching to just be a principal anywhere so yeah. I don't I don't I my we live here in the community my kids go to Rose Hill schools uh, we've been here nine years almost 10 years love it and so the hope is that someday we'll be here and if not then I'll be happy being vice principal but don't plan on going anywhere else perfect um, what are some things that you're going to change next year um, no, no major changes um, off the top of my head. So I think, you know, we're proud of what we do here at Rose Hill. We have great students. We have great staff members, um, great community support. So there's no changes off the top of my head that I can sit and say, oh, that we, you know, we've done things very well. Like sometimes people like to always focus on the negative. You know, it's easy to complain about X, Y, Z and say, oh, we need to fix this. But sometimes people take for granted all the good things that go on in our school. Yeah. And so we got to do a better job of publicizing and pr promoting the positive stories in our building. And uh, we'll just continue to do that. But as of right now, no major changes. 
Great. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Mr. Welch. And thank you for watching the At The Hill podcast. If you miss any episodes, you can find them wherever you listen to podcasts. Make sure you follow Rock Productions on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Danielle McPherson. And I'm your host, Lily. See you on the next episode.